Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to another Brutus Monroe Design Team layout. Today we are going to play with Velveteen Glaze in Blueberry Bushel and Aqua Pigments in Blue. So we're going to do some blue makes the media. I have these three photos of our vacation uh, last year. And this is Mount Vernon, so George Washington's house, and this is his garden, and my husband walking through it. So I thought it would be fitting to also use the My Nomies stamp set, so we're going to create some gnomes as well. So it's like a little, you piece your little gnomes together. Um, so I'm going to do those on a separate piece of cardstock and grab a whole bunch of different aqua pigments and color those in. Um, so you can just use those like watercolor. And I'm going to be cutting my photos into hexes and we're using, like I said, the Echo Park New Day collection. So that's where I pulled the blues from because there's a lot of pretty blues in here. And so yeah, so I'm going to get these cut, these stamped using uh, the Raven Black Detail Ink from Brutus Monroe. And we will start our mixed media. So what I'm thinking for the mixed media, so I've got all of my photos and some hexes cut and together. So there's more than that. And I just kind of lightly trace and you can actually, if you look real close, you can see my pencil line. But then I took aqua pigment, the blue, did the packaging technique just so that when these go back down, it's just going to slightly peek out. I did that in the aqua pigment versus the packaging technique. And then I did the velveteen glaze as well in the packaging technique. So just to add some dimension, so I'll zoom in and show you that. It is not quite dry, but the darker colors are the velveteen glaze. So there is a little bit of dimension, so little peaks and stuff going on there. And then the last thing I want to do is some splatters. And then we'll let our background dry. I'm going to add just a bit of water so that it splatters. Mix that up and we are just going to go to town. Splattering all around the edges. I'm trying to control it somewhat, but let's be honest, it's going to go crazy. Even though the, the bigger parts are going to be covered, I do want splatters in with the other mixed media just to make it all look good and the same. Okay. Stick that in my water. Let's clean up our little mess going on over here. So that's going to dry. The other thing that I want to show you is, is I did stamp. Um, I was going to do a boy and a girl, but since all the photos of my husband, I did two boys. And I used various aqua pigments to color them, like a paintbrush. But then I took a shimmer brush. I don't know if my camera's going to pick. There you go. There it was. And I painted over everything with a shimmer brush. Just so, because they're gnomes, right? And they're magical. So they should shimmer. So yeah, so those are, I used all of those. Stamps, and we're going to create some people, but they all have to dry. And this is just um, some regular old cardstock. So once this is dry, I'm going to get all those attached down. And we will come back and put all that together. But this is just kind of a fun way to show you that you don't always have to use the velveteen glaze if they're a stencil you can use it with the packaging technique because it works just fine um, and it does make it look a lot cooler so you know a little bit of depth and dimension going on and up close it just looks gorge you guys so yeah so let's let all this dry and we will be back to put the layout together all right so we've got our cute little guys oh my god this guy holding the picture down, this guy holding the picture up, and look, they sparkle. 
I went ahead and put a few embellishments in, but I love the way this turned out. I'm thinking, use, I don't know, do I want to do sketchy lines? I think I have to. I mean, I don't have to, but I feel like I want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and add sketchy lines in. I love the way that there's texture with that velveteen glaze, and it doesn't shine because the velveteen glaze dries matte. And with all of the fun products that I have tried and played with, I've never found another one that has a velvet matte finish. So if you are looking for a little less shine, head over to Brutus Monroe and pick that up because it is phenomenal. And pick up some chroma glaze and some glitter glaze and, you know, all the other fun stuff that they have because, let's be honest, best mixed media products ever in my humble opinion so we have got this going on i've got some chipboard here 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 and here and that was pretty much it because i like the way that these little guys are kind of taking over the way that the mixed media is there but yet everything is popping off because of the blue so you know in my mind it works so thank you guys so much for hanging out and creating another brutus monroe design team inspired layout and that is going to do it for me, except maybe, what do you think? Maybe we should come in and let's, let's just go for some gusto. Let's do it. Let's add a few of these little enamel dots, because I feel like I don't use enamel dots enough. So we are going to just pop in little things all over and try to use up this one last little bit all right seriously for real that's gonna do it now so I just have a little touches all around just adding a little bit more dimension to that background with another blue Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Do all the fun YouTube -y things. Go check out Birds from Royal. Pick up these products. These are adorable. You need to get these in your life. And it was very easy to assemble and so much fun to color. Thank you guys so much. Later.